As you have already learned, my name is Nikola Gugorov, and I am a global citizen. What is a global citizen? A person who knows many languages? A person who travels a lot? A person who knows a lot about the world? Are you a global citizen? I'm here to explain all of that by addressing three major problems. Climate change, poverty, and pollution. These three problems are found across the earth and have significantly greater outcomes than other global issues. Now let's look into them. Over the past 100 years, the global temperature has risen by one degree Celsius. Now you may be thinking, wow, an entire degree Celsius. But that is actually enough to continue melting the Arctic and Antarctic ice caps, which has resulted in the rise of sea levels, which has been eight inches for the past 100 years. This rise of sea levels has endangered many valuable cities on our planet, including New York, Miami, New Orleans, London, Venice, Amsterdam, and Bangkok, and many others, but has also endangered more than 3.3 billion lives. Next, poverty. A big issue with poverty is that many children are born into it. According to ourworldanddata.org, almost 60 million kids around the earth do not have proper education of which more than half of them live in Sub-Saharan Africa. In fact, they represent an entire 19% of all kids in Sub-Saharan Africa, a region with an 85% poverty rate on average. Indeed, there has to be a connection between poverty rates and kids without proper education access. This idea of being born into poverty can not only decrease someone's chance of proper education, but that in turn can lead to that person getting uh, limited career options, which can result into a person in poverty getting a job that would pay much less than another job that that person had the potential for. For example, a person in poverty had a really good potential to be a lawyer and receive a good amount of wage, but his limited career options resulted in him becoming a farmer who takes much less, thus continuing the poverty cycle. But in fact, the worst of the three problems I mentioned earlier is pollution. Pollution is something common around the world, as there are many things we use these days that are big polluters, like cars. But pollution does not only come from using, it also comes from producing or making. The meat industry is a shocking example. It may seem that an animal is slaughtered, brought to the slaughterhouse, cleaned, chopped up, and put in a store waiting to be bought. But the truth is far, far from that. Processing the meat in the slaughterhouse has its own deal of greenhouse gas emissions, but also providing, making, or extracting food for the animals also emits greenhouse gas emissions. Overall, the meat industry accounts for, wait for it, 8.1 gigatons of carbon dioxide each year. Now, speaking with gigatons might sound like speaking with gibberish, but to put it on a global scale, the meat industry accounts for an entire 15.6% of all greenhouse gas emissions. Ocean, ocean littering is also a big concern, as animals can be tricked into eating trash from the oceans, which can have deadly consequences. Now I can decide that I want to solve global problems. For example, I would like to reduce my carbon footprint by reusing, recycling, or composting more. Or I would like to donate to a fundraiser that would improve schools in Sub-Saharan Africa. But the real fact is, what I will do to try to help those global problems won't do anything anything compared to the global scale of them. We just aren't solving those problems with a big enough effort. Of course, many people may think that that is not true and that there are many international efforts to combat those problems, like One Tree Planted or Team Seas. But the data can speak for itself. Despite all of those efforts in planting trees each year, we're planting only 1.9 billion of them each year against our deforestation rate, which is 15 billion trees each year. With this rate of deforestation, we would have cut down all trees on Earth the next 300 years. This is such a short amount of time compared to how long we have existed, how long trees have existed. Oceaning is also a big concern. As I said earlier, the sea pollution rate has been increasing rapidly for the past 20 years, killing approximately 100 million animals each year from plastic alone. Nonetheless, we're breaking more than we're fixing. But what will help is being a global citizen. I'd like to bring back the question, what is a global citizen? Now, of course, I cannot read your minds, but I can tell you what I think. 
had this definition on the internet and really liked it. A global citizen is a person who is aware of the bigger world around them and understands their place in it. Now, there are two parts of this, being aware and acknowledging our position. That connects directly to my point here. Being aware of our bigger global problems and acknowledging our position and helping each other internationally to solve them. The only way to solve our global problems is by making a big and unified international effort. The only way to make a big and unif unified international effort is by being a global citizen and acknowledging our position and helping each other internationally. But a great example of an international effort to solve global problems is the Great Green Wall of Africa. It is a barrier that, if completed, would be 8,000 kilometers long and 15 kilometers wide, consisting of trees that would try to, uh, try to help solve the issue of the Sahara Desert invading fertile land. Another great example that um, is not necessarily global problem solving, but international, is what astronauts are doing on the ISS. American astronauts and Russian cosmonauts work together and maintain good relations, although they were in Ukraine. These days, there are many different political standpoints, rebellions, and wars, and the world has been very politically disconnected. But we should work despite them. Otherwise, climate change, poverty, and pollution will continue to worsen the world. You see, those problems are global. They're international. If we solve them in only one country, that won't solve the entire problem. We should work together internationally and combat, combat those problems from all sides. I'd like to tell, also, before I leave, I'd like to tell a Bulgarian legend that carries a really important message. Hankrabat, who lived throughout the beginning of the 7th century, gathered his five sons around him. He asked his oldest son, Bagbayan, to, to take a bunch of sticks and try to break one of them. As we learned, as some of us learned in the breakout sessions, this is something easy to do. And so, Bagbayan was able to break one stick. But then, Kubrat asked his son to try to break five sticks together. And as some of us learned in the breakout sessions, that is, that is something that is much harder to do. And Batmayan had some really strong sticks here, and no matter how much he tried to break the five sticks together, he could not. This was Kubrat's legacy to his sons, that if they stayed united, nothing can break them. If we as a global community stay united to solve those global problems, we can solve them. But now let's look at what happens after the death of Hankerbat. You guessed it, the sons would split up. But first, Batbayan was a new Khan of Old Great Bulgaria, which was quickly rolled over by the Khazars. At this point in time, the other four brothers split in search of land for their people. Let's look at what happened to them. Out of four sons, only one son was able to create a country that throughout many different difficult times would end up in modern day. Out of four sons, only one son was able to truly succeed. Imagine how devastating it would be if we as a global community don't unite together to solve those problems. But we can prevent those problems from taking over us. We can work together internationally and be global citizens, and we can help each other to solve them. This comes to show that united we stand, divide we fall. Or as we Bulgarians said, Sedinen to pravi silota. Work together internationally and make a change. Just be a global citizen. Thank you.